team, it is time to be excited because as you can see here, we have a package from Stationery Pal to unbox. Yay, goodies day! We love stationery! And we love packages and we love unboxing things. Let's head to the desk to check out the goods. <gasps> it's upside down. Look at how cute the box is. I love the little snowman in particular with his little like ruler nose and pencils and pens for arms. That's pretty cute. Ooh. See, even the inside of the box is cute. Well, sticker. We have plenty of goodness to explore here. So we're gonna go to the top down view. Now as it's out of the box, I'm having super trouble actually keeping everything contained. But as always, we have that super cute bubble wrap with the little purple hearts. We love purple hearts, but let's open this up. See if we can do this without ripping the sticker. Ugh. Ugh. <gasps> Confetti! <laughs> now, there are a bunch of goodies in here, like the confetti, which I'm gonna get everywhere. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what I actually put in the order, so this is very exciting. So we're gonna sort through all of this and put it into some piles so that we can start with the stuff that they put in as bonus items, which is always very exciting, and then go through the items I actually put in my order category by category. First up, we of course have our cute little thank you note from Stationery Pal. I was taught it was always polite to start with the card before you really unwrap the present, though technically the present has been unwrapped, but shh. In terms of the items though, the first category we have are the bonus items that Stationery Pal put into the box. So moving from left to right, we have a little kind of pencil set, which is Christmas themed. So it's got two pencils, an eraser, a little ruler, which is 15 centimeters, and a little pencil sharpener. That's a very cute holiday season set. Another holiday inspired item we have are the three little hats that we have for our little bear. Now the bear has been in every order I've had, so I think this is a standard freebie, but we now have a little red and white hat, a little white and red hat, and a little green and red hat. So he has some fashion choice options. Isn't that cute? And each of those little hats say love. Another Christmas related item are the two pens that we got. So you can see we've got a red pen with a Christmas tree on it. That one's on the side clip. And the white one has a little reindeer, or I guess a little Rudolph considering the red nose. Testing those out on a piece of spare paper, we can see that both of them have black ink. The ink is a very fluid ink, kind of akin to a Muji gel pen. This is the bonus item that I'm probably the most excited for, which is a little bit odd, but we also got a rubber duck. <laughs> and it squeaks. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying. <laughs> and our bonus items here, as you can see, are some little rabbits. These each are pins, so they've got a badge pin on the back so that you could pin them onto your pencil case or your clothing. As you can see, we have one kind of tan colored one, one white one, and one gray one. The next category of items are that of papers and notepads, which are the ones that I actually picked out. And I'm very excited to look into these because I've been really into the idea of kind of scrapbooking. Not that I'm super good at it, but I thought that these paper packs might make it a little bit easier because in theory, the things collected in them all kind of go together. Because there are a few, we're probably gonna have to sort them out a little bit so that we have a little bit of order and structure to this whole video. Starting with our little square notepads though and getting them out of their plastic, each of these memo pads has 100 sheets with 20 of each of five patterns. Each of the squares on the memo pad are eight centimeters by eight centimeters. We have the red rose, juicy peach, and fresh milk design. So looking through them, we have the first one for the red pad, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. We have the first for the pink, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And then for the blue, the same again. So the first pattern, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Because these are memo pads rather than sticky pads, it's kind of nice because it means that if I pull out an individual sheet, I don't have the sticky tacky kind of glue on the back of any of them. And I think these are gonna make really nice decorative elements for my journal. It's just a very easy way to add a little bit of decorative paper, in particular paper that's not too thick, which is pretty cool. I of course only got these three colors, but they do have other colors available as well. Each of these are linked in the description box below though, along with all of the other things that I got as part of the haul. The next collection of papers I got were the watercolor brush stroke sticky notes, and I got the pink, brown, green, and blue versions. 
or the Sakura Henpaku Aoni Noshi Mihana sets. But I'm going to call them pink, brown, green and blue because that's what it says on the website. Opening these ones up again though, each of these comes with the five designs on the pad and we also have 20 sheets for each of the designs. So I guess you could say 100 little watercolour strips per pad. Each of the watercolour strips are about 6.1 centimetres by 2.3 centimetres. But if you're just thinking about the coloured region, this is about 5.5 centimetres by 1.5, roughly. Having a look at this blue one, so you might be able to see there is a perforation between each of them so that you can actually just rip up one of the coloured strips. I think these would be really good for headers and things like that. Maybe trimming down a little bit of the excess white paper and just using them decoratively. Mainly the things that I got here for decoration, let's be honest. But I love that they come in their own little colour families so that you can have like a blue layout and then bring in more of that kind of blue notepad that we had from before and just like build a little colour story around it. Be very cute. Or do the same kind of thing but use the pink instead. So the pink notepad with the little pink strips. <sighs> Gorgeous. In terms of the sticky section in each, it takes up about half of the sticky note, so you can kind of see where I'm pulling up there. That is where the sticky stuff finishes. The next collection of items we have are the Natural Plant Scrapbooking Paper Pad Sets. And we've got the mushroom design, the flower design, and the maple design. Again, taking each of those out so that we can have a closer look at them. So you can see they stay together pretty well in their stacks. Ah, okay, so there is a little join along the end here. I was kind of worried that I was going to get them out and they were going to go everywhere. Thankfully that has not happened. So just like a little memo pad, we do have a little bit of that kind of glue on the edge so that you can pull up individual sheets. But these are so freaking cute. I think they're gonna be such beautiful, like little kind of ephemera decoration kind of things for my setups. I'm not usually a kind of neutrals type of person, but I've been very drawn to the aesthetic of neutral color palettes. Having a closer look at our individual designs though, from the flower pack, we have the brown, the pink, and the cream. For the mushroom pack we again have the brown, the pink, and the cream. And then for the maple pack, the brown, the pink, and the cream. Each of the pieces in those individual stacks are the same design though. But I love them. I always love those ephemera heavy kind of scrapbooky style layouts where people have all of these little bits and pieces to stick into their journal. I'm like, where are my bits and pieces? Well, here they are. I am collecting them, slowly. Our next category is that of deco scrapbooking paper packs, and we've got three designs here, so opening them up. Each of these have 12 sheets with 12 individual designs. Starting with this one, this is the Ink Drops pack. So, as said, we have 12 sheets with one design per sheet. So, flipping through those pretty quickly, we've got a brown, a pink and blues, green and yellow, kind of like purple and bronzy kind of color. Pink and purple, blue and orange, pink and purple again. We've got another green and yellow palette, kind of pink and a kind of reddish purple color. Got a pink and blue and purple, a bronzy brown kind of color, and then another blue, almost teal kind of pinky combo with some purple thrown in. I like that it's made to look like kind of ink dropped marbling with gold flecks kind of thing. The paper itself isn't shiny, but it does give the kind of visual effect as if there was shininess there. I'd probably go and touch in some little gold elements with my watercolor paints if I was using these papers. But again, I've gotten these for decoration in my journal. The next one we'll look at is the Have a Good Trip set. So again, we've got 12 sheets with individual designs. So flicking through those, we've got botanicals. Some more botanicals. Unsurprisingly, some more botanicals. We can very much see the theme here. We've got a pink kind of design, one with some little flamingos and some kind of like vintage stamp kind of card things. One that does have stamps on it, so road less traveled, urgent linseed oil. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one, I like this pattern. So greens, another green paper. God. Some more florals. I oh, know, are these orchids? I have no idea. Some more botanicals and florals. Another one of that pattern that I like, but in pink. And then another one that's kind of like a combination of a bunch of things. So music notes, stampy, kind of like a wax stamp kind of thing. Little bits of paper, 
that kind of stuff. And the last one is called the flower set. So 12 shades, individual designs, some like blue and purples. I'm not too sure which way up that one goes. More purple, I love purple. This one is upside down. So love, 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 love. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> we have some, are they Pegasi? Is that what the multiple of a Pegasus is? I like this pattern. <laughs> I, I like this one a lot. We've got Pegasi without wings, also known as horses. We have unicorns, because these ones got horns. Well, these ones have horns, those ones do not. Got another kind of Pegasi. We've got an individual Pegasus. I feel like Pegasus was the name of the horse rather than what the horse with wings actually was. Anywho, florals, some botanicals, a little bit of pink in there, which is kind of cute. Some zigzaggy kind of chevron-esque kind of pattern and upside down but some more florals which makes sense because this is the flower pack while pastels aren't really typically in my color palette i thought that they went nicely with some of the things i got before in particular those little memo pads and in particular the pink memo pad these two were listed as vintage scrapbooking paper pads and we have the field and the daily set as you can tell from the side, both of these have two distinct halves. So the first half has sticker paper, and then the second half is just papers. Oh, this is cool. So each of these stickers aren't individually cut. You'd have to cut them out yourself. But they are on that kind of like washi tape, semi-transparent kind of background. So you probably wouldn't have to cut them too close to the actual design or like too neatly. But, oh, that's so cool. Do we have a different design? Yep, yeah, we have a different design on each of the sheets as well, which is pretty dang awesome. Ah, uh, these are cute. Yeah, this is so field notes, right? So like little stamps and little plants and just little bits of like kind of ephemera and stuff. That's so cool. I'm going to have so much fun using these in my self-care journal. If you're wondering, this little guy here is my self-care journal and I just take kind of notes and stuff in here because it's just little notes about my thoughts and feelings. Or every so often I'll make kind of like a decorative page where I like to use washi tape and stickers and stuff. So I think that those kind of things are going to work well in here. And then for the papers at the back, each of these are a unique design as well. And again, they're really super thin, which means they're going to stick into your journal so nice. That's gorgeous. And these will totally go super well with like the designs we had from before with the little tickets and stuff because they're in the same color palette. Pretty. So that was the field version. We've also got the daily version. So again, we've got the kind of stickery bits, <laughs> which this is very interesting. But we've got a bunch of different little sticker bits, which is pretty cute. I like this message. And then after the stickers, we also, that's cute, we have the papers at the back. Oh, those are cute too. Okay, getting distracted. So the papers, we have little kind of photograph moments. I guess that makes sense because it's like daily life, I suppose. And we've got little storefronts and foodie bits. I'm going to need to find a way to store these so that I can remember what I have in a way that kind of makes sense. But for all of these, we have that kind of muted color palette as well. <gasps> Call me fan. We then have some more paper packs, which kind of just seem like they all go together. These ones obviously are smaller and that one is larger. All of these I think would work well for like junk journaling or ephemera journaling, that kind of stuff, like vintage style journaling, where you stick in a bunch of things. But having a look at our smaller ones first, you can see that each of these comes in three different sizes. So we've got the little square, We've got a slightly bigger rectangle and then the larger rectangle. And then each of these come in a variety of designs too. So like a couple of those ones, a couple of these ones, some pinks, some kind of like salmon back of postcard looking ones, US airmail, like just heaps of different ones. I like to have variety and I like to have options. So this one feels very much kind of like a letters inspired one. like post kind of stuff. Having a quick look through the square ones in that one. So I've got some post link and stuff. See, the thing with these ones are is that they feel a little bit too zoomed in. So some of the images are a little bit pixelated. So I'm not too sure how much use I will get out of these ones in particular, just because as said, those ones look like they're a little bit too zoomed in. So a little bit pixelated. These ones look all good though. 
and a bunch more designs in this size too. These ones do also have some pixelation, but it really depends on which design in particular you're looking at. Though the pixelation does help to make them look a little bit more vintage or old. For reference, this is the Blessing, this is the Plant, and this is the Record set. So they all have different names and come under different listings. But the Plant one doesn't look too bad in terms of the pixelation. And it kind of has the texture, like not actual texture, but printed texture of handmade paper. Again, we have a bunch of different designs in this one too. I should probably have mentioned that each of these packs has 60 individual pieces of paper. And the last one very much just looks like paper offcuts. I do think I'm going to have to go through all of the papers from each of these and go through the ones that I actually want to keep. Like this one in particular I think is pretty cool. But some of the images just look like they're a little bit too zoomed in. For instance this one in particular looks a little bit too pixelated for my liking so I probably wouldn't end up using it. Moving on to the bigger one though, as you can see these ones do also come in a variety of sizes but they're a fair bit bigger than the smaller ones. So we've got a bunch of kind of like cardstock paper kind of ones. This again has that similar issue of some of them feeling like they're a little bit too zoomed in, but it doesn't seem to have that issue to the same extent. Like more of these ones seem okay than some of the ones in here. I can say with certainty that I'm going to be keeping many more from this pack compared to those smaller ones. I do very much like the aged look on all of these papers, even though the papers are like new and fresh. Plus, like we said before, they are thinner papers, so they're going to stick in your journal really nicely and not add too much bulk. The last item we have in the paper category is this bronzing vintage scrapbooking paper in the flower design. These ones are on vellum though, which is why from the front it looked a little bit odd, but uh, the foiling is so pretty and the paper is really pretty. I love the vellum. I love this like kind of see-through nature of them. And I think that the flower designs are really gorgeous and the gold kind of just like accents it. It's only on the outside edge of most of the designs, but then you've also got things printed in the backgrounds as well. Aw, oh, this one's so pretty. Look at that little printed lady. Shiny. Another element that I am certainly going to be using in a decorative sense Oh, and then the ones in the back, these ones aren't vellum. These ones are printed on a kind of like shiny paper, but we've got the same designs again, it seems, just in the kind of non-see-through version. And then we also have some ones that don't have foiling, but these ones are different designs. Lots of excellent paper options to use in my journals, but our next category is that of washi tape. In particular, I wanted to try out the ones that were listed as washi tape stamp stickers, but I also wanted to get some of this craft paper grid. So we'll start with that one. This one comes tied up with a little bit of twine just because it is a paper backed tape so that it doesn't stick to itself and rip. I absolutely love this washi. I've used it before and I wanted to get myself some more because I knew how much I liked it. It's just a really nice way to add craft paper into your journal without having to have a double sided tape roller or actually like using a glue stick or anything. This one's just nice and easy because it is already a tape. It doesn't need any adhesive. It's sticky already in a good way. For the washi stamp stickers though, so you can see I got three different designs. I was particularly interested in these ones because they were already perforated like they were little stamps and also have that little decorative border that looks like a stamp. As you can see though, this one is botanicals related, so a lot of greenery. This one's more of a pink and brown color palette with little animals. And this one is a florals inspired one, so not just the greenery of the botanical one, but more so some pinks and some purples. A touch of blue here and there. I just thought that these matched really well with the other kind of vintage inspired papers that we got, so I could use them all together to do some journal decorating. The next category of items we have are pens. Some of them we've had in a previous haul, but some of them are new. Looking at the familiar ones first though. These two are Pigma Micron pens in 08 and 05, so hopefully you can see they do have different nib sizes, with the 08 being the thicker one. Microns have effectively become my favourite drawing pen, so I needed to get a couple more of these ones in particular because my nibs have become blunt, because I'm a little bit heavy handed. But they are a lovely pen for drawing and writing with, I like to use them in my bullet journal for things like the line work on my calendars, and also the line work on any doodles I'm doing because they are water fast or waterproof. I also got three other black pens. So the Pilot Juice 05 pen, the Zebra Sarasa Clip pen, and the Pilot G205. 
These are all pens that I've had people mention in the comments of my videos, so I wanted to grab some so that we can use them in our review videos. From what I could tell, they all write fairly similarly to each other, though if I had to pick a favourite, it would probably be the Pilot Juice. But I have only written their names out, so I don't think that that is soon enough to actually pick a winner. Or at least a winner as far as I'm concerned. I will say though that the Pilot Juice and the Sarasa Clip both have, I don't know, little leather arms. On the clip side, the Pilot G2 does not. So this is an interesting feature, kind of like that. But they will be going into the black pen stash so that I can use them for future videos. The other set of pens that I got though were the Mild Liners. In particular in the five, I think they're the newest colors. I'm not too sure. I swear there are way more Mild Liners that I ever think there are. But as you can see though, we have five colors. Mild Dusty Pink, Mild Beige, Mild Cream, Mild Olive and Mild Cool Grey. Each of these have the chisel tip on one end and at the other end they have a bullet tip, or like a fine kind of point nib. Testing these ones out as well of course. While I don't use my other Mild Liners oh so much, I do really like the colours of these ones and I think they're going to match well with the other things that I got in this haul. A whole heap of goodies, and as mentioned, all of these are linked in the description box below. If you wanted to grab yourself a discount at Stationery Pal, you can use my code JASHIKURIN for 12% off your order typically, or at the time of this video going live, it's actually 18% off. Stationery Pal is also having 50% off on selected products, so use the link to their website in the description box below to grab yourself some goodies and save yourself some money. We love savings. Also, you can stack codes to save even more, which is pretty awesome. I think my favorite item from the haul are probably the little memo pads from the start, but I would love to hear which item was your favorite. So many goodies, and I would love to know which one is your favorite, which one would you be most keen on? If you wanted to see more of my Stationery Pal unboxings, then the playlist at the top is for you. Or if you just wanted to see more Stationery Haul content in general, the playlist at the bottom is where it's at. I'll see you over there.